Hello everyone, so it is June 26, 2014, and I thought I would make a little video showing you how I get to work on public transportation. And then once I get there, I'll just show you around the building that I work in and maybe my office if there aren't too many people there yet. So yeah, this is the route that I take to the bus. I take the bus at around 6.32 every morning and I have to walk to the end of the street and then over to the next big street. See look, I live in a pretty suburban area, so I mean there's even there's even some sheep over here. Let me let me just show these to you. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but that th that house right there has sort of like a little farm and there should be Oh yeah, you can't see them, but And I mean, it wouldn't be California without a palm tree, right? I mean, even though this one is a little bit pathetic, it's still a palm tree. So if you want to mail anything, you have a mailbox right here. Cool, but no one really mails things anymore since there's email. But you know, it's always nice to get a letter. So if you actually know where I live, because you know me in real life, then send me a letter and I'll send you one back. So if someone on my street has a massive RV, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, RV. And it's just like parked in their driveway. And they have like two other SUVs, which you can't see. Oh look, and they have oranges. Oranges are good, but I'm a good person, so I'm not gonna steal their oranges. So this house right here with the American flag, they like always have patriotic stuff. But yeah, they always have awesome decorations. We're almost at the end, but not really because we have to turn the corner and then go for like a whole nother distance about this far. Look at all the gas. And all the cars. So right now I'm walking on Woodside Road, which is a pretty big road and it's where I'm going to catch the bus. So yeah, I mean two seconds ago all the cars were going by, now they're not. And this just makes me look like I live in a really small town. So if you have no idea where I'm making this from, I live one county down from San Francisco. So San Mateo County, if you know where that is. Look, we've made it to Alameda. So yeah, we are almost at the bus stop. It is that little pathetic bucket with the pole over there. They used to have normal bus stops here, but I don't really know what happened. They, they moved a lot of routes and bus stops and locations and things. So uh, here's the bus stop. It's very, very pathetic, very, very small. Look at this, like this is not a bus stop. You can't even see the sign. It's so low. At least the one on the other side is a little bit higher. See, look, that one's kind of okay. cars coming by and there's a church right over there it's kind of blocked by some trees but there's a church and so now we basically just have to wait like 10 minutes for the bus to come and there's not really anything to do and this isn't a real bus stop so there aren't any benches or anything to sit down so you just sort of have to stand here and if you want to be clever you can actually switch the camera take your bag off and actually put it on the bus thing like this. So you sort of have a little mini stand thing, which I discovered a few days ago. So yeah, there's there's a benefit to having a short bus pole, I guess. So it looks like there was some sort of problem with the flowers. I don't know, there's just dirt everywhere. It looks like someone just rode over in their bike or something. And look, these are the these are the stores that are there. There's plastic surgery center of Woodside. There's fine jewelry. And then there's two other things. But yeah, you can get your jewelry and your plastic surgery all in one place. Coming, the bus is coming. Okay, so now the bus is coming and I'm doing a voiceover right now because it got pretty loud. So yeah, this is the inside of the bus. And we're just going towards the station.
And here we are at the station. As you can see, it says Redwood City Station right there. And there are a lot of other buses and cars arriving because this is a pretty popular station. And there's a parking garage over there. And now we are pulling in to the bus stop area. And yeah, this is the station and that's where they have the arrivals. And the train is coming! But that's the wrong train, that's the train going in the other direction towards San Francisco. And here's the train, it is coming. And I'm about to get on it in a few minutes. But first it has to slow down a little bit. So this is when we were going past, I think it was Menlo Park Station. But yeah, yeah, it's Menlo Park. And now we're going under a bridge. And we are arriving at Sunnyvale Station, which is near where my office is. So yeah, I'm actually I'm sitting on the top floor of the train, so that's why everything looks so high. And there we are at Sunnyvale Station. Look at all the people. So this is the area where I work. It's called Murphy Square, and it's basically like a mini startup village. So yeah, there are a lot of startup companies which you will see when I get closer to the directory area. So yeah, these are all of the companies. Most of them are startups. Maybe you've heard of some of them, but you probably haven't. So Cover Media Labs is the company that I work for, and it is just right there. And I ran out of battery on my camera, so I unfortunately could not film that much inside my office, but here is a very sped up version of me doing some work, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video, and I will see you next time.